James Damore, a formal Google engineer who was fired in August after posting a memo to an internal Google message board arguing that women may not be equally represented in tech because they are biologically less capable of engineering, has filed a class action lawsuit against the company in Santa Clara Superior Court in Northern California. His claims that Google unfairly discriminates against white men whose political views are unpopular with his executives. Damore is joined in the suit by another former Google engineer named David Goodman, who spent three years with Google working on a query engine. According to Goodman's LinkedIn profile, he left the company in December 2016 and has been self-employed ever since. The lawsuit filed by Dillon Law Group says it aims to represent all employees of Google who have been discriminated against due to their perceived conservative political views by Google, due to their male gender by Google, or due to their Caucasian race by Google. More specifically, it accuses Google of singling out, mistreating, and systematically pu punishing and terminating employees who expressed views deviating from the majority view at Google on political subjects raised in the workplace and, and relevant to Google's employment policies and its business, such as diversity hiring policies, bias, sensitivity, or social justice. Damore isn't holding back any punches here. According to his fire, filing, Google employs illegal hiring quotas to fill its desired percentages of women and favored minority candidates and openly shames managers of business units who fail to meet their quotas, in the process openly denigrating male and Caucasian employees as less favored than others. The suit also claims that numerical presence of women celebrated at Google was based solely due to their gender, while the presence of Caucasians and males was mocked with boos during company-wide weekly meetings. Somewhat redundantly, it adds that Damore, Goodman, and other class members were ostracized, belittled, and punished for their hereditox uh, political views and for the added sin of their birth circumstances of being Caucasians and their male, males. The lawsuit is seeking monetary, non-monetary, and punitive remedies. The Morris firing last summer became the talk of the nation with many in Silicon Valley outraged that Google didn't even move more swiftly to terminate him. Elsewhere, many wondered whether the firing would have a chilling effect on employees' ability to openly discuss their viewpoints. Google said it fired Demore for violating its code of conduct and advancing harmful gender stereotypes in our workplace. Demore, meanwhile, began a kind of press tour denouncing the company for being closed-minded and worse. In an interview with CNBC, for example, he compared being a Google conservative at Google to being gay in the 1950s. The suit isn't the only one Google is having to defend itself against. In September, three female former Google employees filed a lawsuit against the company saying it pays women at all levels of the company less than men, as well as assigns them lower job tiers with less opportunity for upward mobility. Last month, a fourth complaint joined their suit. The Labor Department is separately investigating systematic pay discrimination at the company. Google says it hasn't found a pay gap in its own analysts.